Welcome back to the Destiny Global Facebook page. What if I could give you a five to 10 minute strategy that you could implement every single morning, be able to get your day off started right, help you become more, far more productive, get more done in less time, and have a lot less stress as you're moving throughout your day. Listen, if you're anything like me, oftentimes you feel like you have a task list that's far too long and you don't have nearly enough time to get it completed. And then as you're trying to get the task list completed, it's like you, you're finding more tasks that you need to get done, but yet the task list you, you have is already too long to get done. It can feel, you, it can cause you to feel a lot of pressure and you feel stressed out. And really, you can just feel genuinely unsatisfied no matter what you get done for the day because you feel like you go through the entire day and there's just so many things left un finished. We we'll have a five minute strategy that I'm going to give you. And since I started implementing this strategy several years ago, it has radically transformed not only how productive I am, but also how great I feel at the end of the day, knowing what I've gotten accomplished. And I've been able to do it in a, a, just a far more efficient way. Okay. I'm going to give you the strategy here, but first let me tell you, my name is Jackie O'Quinn and I'm a trainer here with Destiny Global. I first became a client with Des of Destiny Globals back in 2005, originally listening to free trainings just like these success tips every single week. And then what ended up happening is I went to a live training event uh, in September of 2005. I went to that event called First Steps to Success. And I remembered it was all the way in Los Angeles, I believe. And I was, at the time, I was living in, in North Carolina. I was in my 20s and I was very hungry to be able to to do something with my life. And I, I really wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to, to build business, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. I went to that training event. I came out of that event and I launched a business uh, that I had been, been kind of dabbling with, but didn't have any direction or any training. And I ended up growing that business. The first year we did like $70,000 in income. And that was a, a part-time business. I was working full-time as a nurse. Then we went on and we broke six figures. Eventually, we built a sales organization that did $100 million in sales. And I credit that with the training that I got here with Destiny Global at First Step Success. And a couple of years ago, I was asked to come on board as a trainer. And it's been a privilege because I believe in the applicable skills uh, that are taught through First Step Success, through Destiny Global, with their life map training system. And I, I really genuinely believe that these skills can help people transform their lives. But today, in today's success tip, I'm gonna give you just a, a tiny little bit of a nugget of one of these little skills that you can implement in your life. So, if you're anything like I used to be, you go through your day, right? You just got so many things to get done and you don't know which way to turn or, or what to do. Here's a five minute strategy that you can do every single day. For some people, this looks a little bit like journaling. For me, it's just really a bit of a, a list. That is start every single day in the morning and just unload. Take a moment and, and make it a habit every single day. This is so simple not to do, and it, uh, this is so simple to do that it's simple not to do. But if you sit down and just take literally just a total brain dump, no matter what's going on, take five to 10 minutes for yourself, sit down and just start writing. And I want you to write every possible thing down that you need to do. And again, for some of you, this is more of a journaling where you're just going to be journaling. For me, it's more of a task. Like I know I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. But you've got to get everything out of your brain. And, 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 it, and I'll explain more about this in a moment, but you've got literally, you want your brain to be empty, every possible task. So here's some things to think about. What are the things that you need to get done for the day? Like what are the things that you are directly personally and ultimately responsible for. These are the things that you need to get done. What are the things that you have to get done? Meaning there's some sort of a deadline. You've got to get these things done and they need to get done today. And here's another one. What are the things that you want to get done? Oftentimes, you know, there's things that you know you don't necessarily need to do it. You don't have to do it, but it's, it's something you care about and you really want to get this done. Put that on the list. I mean, it's a literal brain dump. Take what's in here, get it out of your brain, and, and put it on the sheet of paper. And by the way, I say paper. For me, I have like a legal pad always at my desk, and that's what I like to use. Um, for you, it could be notes in your phone or something like that. Just the whole goal is to declutter your mind completely, empty it completely. Look at your any previous to-do list you had, like what were you doing yesterday? Any tasks that you didn't get done yesterday that need to get done, go ahead and write that down. Was there anything someone asked you to do yesterday um, and maybe you didn't get a chance to do it? Maybe you didn't write it down, but they asked you to do it. Write that down on your list. I mean, I, I totally just empty your mind. Um, here's another one. 
Are there any recurring tasks that you have to do every single day? You know, it's something that, you know, it, it, maybe this is something that, um, it, it, for me, for example, for a lot of years, it was sales calls. I had, you know, sales calls I had to do every single day. And I knew that I had, to, you know, a list of sales calls I had to go through. Well, that's a recurring task. You would, I would put that down, you know, as one of my tasks to get done. Um, also, what task have you been asked to complete? I think we already said that. Oh, look, check your daily planner. That's another one. Look in your daily planner and look for the week. Sometimes you'll have something that maybe this is Tuesday and you've got something that's got to be done on Thursday. Well, chances are you can't get it done on Thursday. You need to start working on it a little bit sooner. So look at, you know, this week on your daily planner, anything that you know coming up that you need to get done and put that also on your list. Because see, what happens a lot of times is we start getting things done throughout the day. We start, we think of a few things that we need to get done. We don't ever do this brain dump. And what happens is we're like, all right, so I got to, you know, I got to run this errand and I got to see this and I got this appointment. I got this task I need to get done, you know, for my boss or whatever, for the business or whatever. And I need to get this done. And as you start doing the, going through your day, getting tasks done, oftentimes what you end up doing is you don't really have a plan and you haven't really organized anything or any of your thoughts. You just focus on like what was the most pressing or maybe the thing that you thought would be really quick to get done. And then you, you start on it and it, it, it doesn't, it's not quick. It takes longer than you thought it was going to take. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, or you're going to need someone else's help to finish it. And it's like, uh, what you thought was going to be a quick five or 10 minute deal ends up taking you 45 minutes to an hour. That's an entire hour out of your day. And you, you kind of get stuck on this one problem. Well, if you're able to get everything out of your, your mind and, and jot it down and actually do this brain dump, it allows you to look at every the, the maybe the 50,000 foot view, if you will, of your task and what you need to get done. And it allows you to really start to prioritize your task. Now, once you get your task, and there's a whole training, this is there's a productivity training that I have, uh, and this is a whole part of that training. But on the success tip, this is this part, and there's one other part that's really, really important. And these are, for me, two of the most important parts of the my entire productivity plan. But what oftentimes happens is we start thinking about tasks that we need to get done, and we think about them very singularly in our mind, meaning we, we think, okay, I need to get this done. And then throughout the day, we're like, oh, I need to make sure I get this done. And oh, yeah, I need to make sure I get that done. And we start realizing at some point we're running out of time. And that's where a lot of our stress and a lot of our overwhelm can come from. But if you first get everything out of your mind, do a brain dump first thing in the morning, and you end up seeing a tons of things. Like you're like, there's no way I can get this done. The good news is you probably don't have to get it all done. Just look at your task list. Look at everything that needs to get done today that nobody else can do, meaning you can't hand this off to somebody else, you can't pass it off. This is 100% my responsibility, and this isn't due by next week, this is due today. Like, I gotta get this done today. And those are the tasks you wanna focus on first. And then when you do that, you'll find, what you'll find out is you'll typically, you'll get everything out of your mind, you'll slim down your task list, and you'll, you'll have a plan of attack. Like, this is what I just need to go after. And again, you know, come come back for another success tip and I'll probably add on to this and and, and, and really just kind of give you a, a bit more of a plan. But here's what you need to know. Once you have that slammed down list of what you need to get done today, now you, you got to understand as you go through your day and you're like, oh, you know, what about so-and-so? Well, you already addressed that most likely in your morning brain dump. So you're, you're not stressed out about like, when am I going to get it done? You just understand you don't have to worry about doing it today. It's not a priority for you today. So listen, Start every single day with a quick little brain dump. It doesn't take long at all. Focus on to putting down anything that you need to get done that you that comes to mind. Anything that you didn't get finished yesterday, put that on your list for today because at some point you're going to have to address it. Maybe you don't have to address it today, but at some point you're going to have to address it. So put that on your brain dump list. Also, anything that you need to do, that you have to do, that you want to do, that counts as well. Put all of that on your brain dump first thing in the morning. Take moment to take a few moments to get that 50,000 foot view of your day and then just highlight or circle all the things that are your direct responsibility that have to get done right now. Everything else, push it aside for tomorrow. Tomorrow, when you do your brand new brain dump, you'll have that list sitting there as well and you can focus on adding that to any new tasks that come out throughout, come out throughout the day. I'll give you one more little tip 
if someone brings a task to you or, or and, and, and it needs to get done pretty quickly over the next couple of days, typically if someone brings a task to you, it's not due right now. They don't need it done right now, but they're like, hey, you know, can you take a look at this or can you do this? Can you give this that once over, whatever? Maybe your boss gives you something and he's like, hey, can you have this to me by next Thursday? A lot of times what will happen is we'll get overwhelmed thinking about when we're going to get that done. Listen, all you need to know is it's not getting done today. Save your mental space. Save that for your brain dump tomorrow. If you need to, jot that down on a separate sheet of paper and make certain that when you do your brain dump the next day, you add that on that brain dump uh, on the, the next day. So start every day with the brain dump. Take a few minutes to really get everything out of your mind so it's not rolling in there later on throughout the day. And you can focus on what needs to get done right now today. And you can make a plan. You can attack the list. And you don't have to worry about having that feeling of overwhelm creeping in because you already got all that crap out of your mind. You know what you need to get done. And you're going to get it done one step at a time. Starting your day off. You're going to be productive. You're going to get to the end of the day. You're going to know what you did. You're going to understand what you did, what you accomplished, and it's going to feel incredible. Um, stay tuned. On another success tip, I'll share with you what happens when your day totally gets sabotaged. And it's like, oh no, my, you know, my day is totally sabotaged. Now what do I do? I'll bring that to you on another success tip. You're not going to want to miss it. By the way, if this training has been helpful for you, we do an entire three-day seminar called First Steps to Success. It's a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. The very next one is going to be April 14th, 15th, and 16th. You're not going to want to miss that. Make certain that you go, uh, there'll be a link below this video. Go check it out. The events oftentimes sell out. Uh, there's typically a, a, a negotiated rate with the hotels so you can get there and you can you know, save money in your hotel. But just know that that negotiated rate is limited to a certain number of room blocks. So you're going to want to go ahead and, and take advantage of that before that room block sells out. Hey, thank you so much for being here. And hopefully we'll see you on the very next success tip. Thank you for watching.